Welcome to New Zealand. Welcome to New Zealand again and thanks for joining me. Um, bit of a windy old day today and uh, winter is upon us almost in New Zealand and today I am at Port Waikato and I'm in the amazing sand dunes that lie here between the, the river over here and the, the ocean at the back of me. Um, now this is one of my favourite places to come and photograph and, uh, and I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, the plan is I'm going to shoot some film and this is something I've been thinking of for quite some time but haven't quite had the courage to do so on my vlog because with film you don't get many chances and uh, unlike all the comforts that you have with digital cameras uh, film is a little bit different and uh, I'm going to shoot black and white film today. So my plan of attack today really is to, I'm going to try and keep things fairly minimal with my photography and focus on tones, you know, contrast and tones and um, maybe just do something a little bit more abstract. Um, we've got a beautiful place here and already I'm kind of thinking man, maybe I should be getting my digital camera and maybe I, be sh I should be shooting digital but I'm going to, I'm going to stick with it and um, and uh, go 100% on it. So let's see what we get. Hopefully we'll come up with one or two good pictures. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Um, like I say, you never know what you're gonna get with film. So let's get into it. The camera I'm using today is my Leica, my Leica M6, and I've got on the M6 a Carl Zeiss 28mm, so um, nice and wide. 36 exposures. And away we go. Film loaded, settings ready, and already I've got a shot here. We've got the, we've got the, just we've got the contrast here really. We just, I'm, I'm just really, really quite fascinated by the, the line of those, those hills at the back there. So that's going to be my first, my first subject. Well, let's get into it. Very cool what happens when you put a Leica camera up to your up to your right. It's very different from any other camera. Even though there's other there's other um, range finding cameras. I've always find it with a Leica and I don't know what it is. But, but you know it's, and it's not just a, a red dot thing as some people say. It's actually quite true. You just there's a different feel to it. There's something like built into these cameras which is quite magical. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's all in my head, but it just feels it just feels like there is a, a magical force. Inside this camera. And I'll probably contradict myself because my pictures are probably going to be crap today after saying all this, but there is just such a nice feeling of a Leica camera. I don't know what it is. Wow, seagull up there. 
seagull make the most of that poorly come back here birdie come back here yes and again there's a bird and you're not going to see it but there's a, a lovely silhouette of a large seagull just floating in my no autofocus no such thing as autofocus on these things it's a you've only got you've got your parallax type thing on whatever they call it and it's magical it's quick it's quick who needs autofocus shot here I've got in the foreground I've got this big tree and in the back I've got another small tree and I'm thinking that could be, and then further obviously on the horizon I've got the the waifu forest over there and the and the line of the the hill and I've kind of got a picture in my mind of this nice black and white eerie shot with the dead the dead wood and the the hill in the background does that make sense it's an emotional thing here. Why film photography? It's kind of like going back to the old style of learning things. It's a very slow learning process. With digital, you can pick up a digital camera and pretty much straight away you're into it. And you can make nice pictures. With film, you've got to learn the whole process. You know, you've got to learn how to use film. You've got to learn, you know, take the time to learn your camera. It, it kind of makes you understand photography a lot better and it just slows your pace of learning right down you know, it's like the old days when you used to learn stuff you had to you know you had to do an apprenticeship you know you had to it took you two or three years to learn anything these days you can pick up something within within a within six months you're a, you're an expert but with film it really does kind of harp back to the the old style of learning which was slow and methodical that's enough of the blah blah i'm going to carry on and take this photograph and um Hopefully it'll come out nice. I'll take a few shots. So I'm about a kilometre and a half, two k's into the dune. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back now to my car and um, see if I get um, any more photo opportunities. So I'm going to start walking back and with a little bit of luck I'll find a few more shots so I can finish off this roll and then I can go and um, go and develop it. I do my own developing by the way, wasn't that cool? So um, you need to learn the stuff. If you're a photographer and you haven't shot film for a while, get back into it, it's quite cool. Time consuming and tedious at times, but worth it. Okay, let's carry on. just a nice line here of the sand dunes and again just a contrast shot between the sand and the sky just lines pretty simple pretty simple shot okay probably I've done it today on the trees but um, something really special about these big brown logs on the sand and um, just the I don't know Port Waikato is a special place just love it here there's just something something very New Zealand about this place, untouched. I don't know, it's just fantastic. I've got a few more shots left on this roll. I'm gonna flick these off and then we're heading home. So let's get these. back again and uh, now it's the the moment of truth I'm going to take my roll and I'm going to develop it so we've got our, got our tank scissors all our gear ready and we're going to load the film up chuck some chemical through it and see if any of the pictures that I took out of Port Waikato are usable Fingers crossed, let's go.
morning till the sun comes over the hills. Make your call loud and clear. I will. It's all the things you do And all the things I don't Hopefully you enjoyed that, something a bit different, shooting film. Hopefully we got some good pictures. We did, of course we did. Because we wouldn't be watching the episode if we didn't. You know, if my pictures were rubbish today, I'm sorry. But I had fun anyway, you know, getting back out, shooting some film, and just talking to you guys and taking you through it. It's just, it's fun, it's fun. Um, as usual, if there are any good pictures from this episode, I'm gonna put them on my website. Check out the website, link below. Facebook and Instagram, if you can follow me on those social media pages, I'd really appreciate it. There's a link below in the show notes. Follow them and you'll find my social media pages. If you like the episode, please give me a like for the video. Share the video. Please share it. Share it and spread the word. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And then you can follow me every week. Until next time, take care, be careful out there, and harira from New Zealand. Goodbye. To know how are you to know it's all the things you do and all the things I don't.